Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to the two predictions. Um, there's a few results that didn't quite go to plan. There's a few results that, you know, uh, certain clubs have been left in the dump, um, you know, not hitting the ground running, could possibly slip out the playoffs. Um, but anyway, there's a lot to talk about. Uh, but anyway, this video is sponsored by LOL T-Shirt Company. They sell my merch, link for my merch down in the description below. So go feel free to check it out once you watch this video. But um, anyway, as I said, there's a lot to talk about, so let's get down to it. Guys, you know what I do, so guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first game I'm going to talk about is Cambridge versus Colchester. Um, Cambridge loses 4-0 at home to Salford City. And Cambridge have sat their manager. I think about after 10 games he's had in charge. Uh, Colchester beating Swindon Town 3-1 at home. Great three points for Colchester. Uh, a bit, you know, unexpected, but fair play to Colchester for doing that. Um, Cambridge are currently in 18th, 32 points. Only drawn one in the last five and lost the other four. Colchester have drawn three and won the other two out of their last five games. Going forward with this game, I think there's going to be a lot of, you know, um, expectation on Colchester's soul, uh, shoulders. So I'm going to give that expectation to Colchester and I'm going to go for a 3-0 Colchester win. My next one is Cheltenham versus Morecambe. Um, Cheltenham drawing 1-1 away to Bradford, uh, not a bad f point for Cheltenham, if I'm all honest, Morecambe beating Walsall 2-0 away from home, great three points for Morecambe, much needed three points for Morecambe as well, uh, Morecambe sitting in 23rd in the table, 26 points, just two points off of Macclesfield now, and only downside is Macclesfield have got a game in hand, um, we're four points off of Mansfield, who have played 30 games as well. So, you know, it might not be all doom and gloom for a Morecambe, what a lot of people thinking it will, might have been. Um, Cheltenham sitting in eight, 45 points, two points off the uh, playoff zone, only winning two in their last five. Um, Morecambe winning two in the last five. Very similar stats going into this game, but I'm going to give Morecambe a win. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 Morecambe win. My next one is Crawley versus Scunthorpe. Um, Crawley drawing 2-2 away to Plymouth Argyle. Um, summing that up in a Crawley perspective, I think that's a good point for Crawley. Um, Scunthorpe loses 3-0 away to Northampton Town. Disappointing day for Scunthorpe. <laughs> Um, but as I said, I want to talk about a quality result because going away to Plymouth ain't the easiest place to go. Plymouth are currently sitting in fourth in the table as well. Um, but, you know, fair play for quality for doing that and, uh, you know, let it continue. Um, Crawley's stat is 13, 36 points when he two out the last five games. Um, Scunthorpe, I think, is a little bit more disappointing. Yes, it is. Um, sit, sit steep in the table, not win a game in the last five. So, you know, the confidence side is much more on the Crawley. And I'm going to give it to Crawley, and I'm going to go for a 2-0 Crawley win. My next one is Grimsby Town versus Forest Green. Um, Grimsby Town beat Stevenage 3-1 at home. Um, Forest Green loses 4-1 away to Carlisle. Forest Green have been poor lately. That's their third defeat on the bounce. Um, going with Grinsby quickly. Let's just talk about Grinsby quickly. Um, when you turn the last five, uh, sitting in 15, 33 points. But Forest Green are outside the playoff places. They're three points off. Bradford, who's his seventh. So, you know, um, you know, it's disappointing to be a Forest Green fan. With this game, I think the um, disappointment's got to carry on for Forest Green. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 Grimsby Town win. My next one is Macclesfield versus Northampton Town. Um, Northampton Town beating the Scunthorpe 3-0 
at home. Macclesfield losing 1-0 away to Newport. I'm not so disappointed if I was a Macclesfield fan. Um, that's the first win in two games for Newport as well. So, you know, I won't be too disappointed. Northampton Town on the other end. Um, they won four out of the last five drawing that one. I'm going to give this game to Northampton Town. I'm expecting Northampton Town to reach the playoffs at least. And I'm going to go for a 3-1 Northampton Town win. My next one is Mansfield versus Carlisle. Mansfield um, losing 3-1 at home to Oldham Athletic. Uh, sorry, away to Oldham Athletic. Carlisle beat the full screen 4-1 away from home. So this game is very much of confidence. Um, Mansfield coming in 21st, 30 points. Carlisle 19th, 32 points. Um, very similar sort of stacks. So I'm going to go for a draw. And I'm going to go a one-all scoreline for that one. My next one is Oldham Athletic versus Bradford. Um, Bradford drawing 1-1 at home to Cheltenham Town. Um, very good point for Bradford probably. How tight it is up there. Um, Oldham Athletic beating Mansfield 3-1 at home. So the confidence side of things. Um, Oldham have not lost in their last five. Bradford have not won a game in their last five. So the confidence side of things will be on the Oldham side. I'm going to go for an Oldham win. And I'm going to go for a 1-0 Oldham win. My next one is Plymouth Argyle versus Newport County. Newport County beating Macclesfield 1-0 at home. Um, Plymouth Argyle drawed 2-2 at home to Crawley. A uh, disappointing day for Plymouth, but I think a point was a fair result of what I've seen in that. Um, going up against an OK Newport County side. Um, let's just go over the stats. So Newport have won three in their last five. Plymouth have not lost in their last five. So the conflicts will very much be on that Plymouth team. And I'm going to go for a Plymouth Argyle win. And I'm going to go for a 2-0 Plymouth Argyle win. My next one is Port Vale versus Salford City. Port Vale beating Exeter City 3-1 at home. Very good three points for Port Vale there. Um, Salford City beating Cam Cambridge United 4-0 away from home. So great three points for Salford City as well. Um, going confident side of things. Port Vale, that was their third win in five. Um, Salford, that's their second win in five. Both teams going in with very similar sort of stacks. Uh, the points difference between the two clubs are five points. I reckon this is going to be a draw. I reckon it's going to be a very entertaining game. And I'm going to go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Stevenage versus Lake Norian. Um, Lake Norian losing 2-0 away to Crew Alexander. I wouldn't be too downhearted if I was a Lake Norian fan there. Um, Crew, you know... It is a hard place to go. It's been a hard place this season to go um, as well. So, you know, I won't be too downhearted there. Stevenage losing 3-1 away to Grimsby Town. Um, let's go over to the table quickly. Stevenage sitting on the foot of the table um, with 22 points. Uh, it does look doom and gloom for Stevenage. The season's not over yet, but there's still plenty of time for Stevenage to turn it around. Uh, Lake Norian sitting in 20th, 31 points. Both clubs got, I think it's the same sort of stack, except Stevenage have lost one more in their last five. But I'm going to go for a draw. I'm going to go for another one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Swindon Town versus Exeter. Um, Swindon Town lose a 3 1 away to Colchester. Disappointing day for Swindon Town there. Um, I think I might have actually put them down to win that game as well. But it didn't happen. Exeter losing 3-1 away to Port Vale. Very disappointing day for Exeter as well. So this is a top two table clash. Um, 
it can easily switch hands uh, over this week. Um, it's a much winning game for Exeter, more than Swindon Town. If Exeter failed to win, they could be back in the playoffs. If Swindon Town failed to win, yes, they will come off top spot, but they'll still be in the top three. So I'm going to go for an Exeter City win, and I'm going to go for a 2-1 Exeter City win. My last one for this weekend is Walsall versus Crew Alexander. Um, Walsall losing 2 0 at home to Morecambe. Disappointing day for Walsall there. Crew Alexander beating Lake Norian 2 0 at home. Um, Crew are currently on 52 points. Walsall for sitting in 14th, 36 points. Um, both teams, yet again, very similar stacks in their last five. Um, but I'm going to go for a crew win, and I'm going to go for a 3-1 crew win. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. So big fat fun, hope you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.